the way art makes me feel. Excited to get started. It's a never ending process of not wanting to stop until I see something through. It's a uh, all encompassing. It really is who I am. I've always identified with the idea of making art from a young age. It never really came easy to me, but it's always been very rewarding. I just love to create something where there was nothing before. That feeling, that spark of inspiration seeing a blank piece of paper or an old worn sprocket. I think the willingness to put in the hours is just as important as the talent. As a boy I would experiment by melting army men and putting them back together in weird can Configurations and drawing endless hours of monsters from movies and fantasy creatures. Striving to always get what's in my mind on the paper. That's the hardest part. In grade school, I would get the occasional negative reaction from a teacher. They would usually agree that I'm talented, although opinion usually that my artwork was misdirected. Even as a boy, I opposed the cookie cutter of conformity. In high school, I took every instructional class possible from drawing to jewelry making, wood shop, and eventually metal shop is what influenced me the most. I've been airbrushing since 1989 and working with metal since 2002. What made me to decide to do blacklight art? Blacklight art was an idea that I had had. I had no idea that anyone had already done it. Um, but for me, it was finding the fluorescent white paint. Everybody knew about the day glow colors for years, but I had no idea that blacklight paint, white paint, existed. Because I did primarily black and white paintings. I had this idea that I could make invisible artwork. So, you know, when the lights, sunlight is on it, it's in, totally invisible. You turn the black light on, it looks ghostly. You turn the lights out with only the black light, and it pops. But what really made me think about doing that was stumbling on that by accident when I was had a black light on in the background and I was using a white highlighting paint and I noticed that it looked darker so I turned the regular white light off and I realized that standard opaque white paint shows up black in the black light that inspired me right there do I favor any more of my talents I definitely do I say I'd favor the metal sculpture over all the rest because it's more honest um, I don't feel like I'm copying anything it all comes from the shapes that are in, in my hands you know in my shop it all comes from those things you know I have a general idea of where I'm going but I never really know how it's gonna end up inspiration from H.R. Geiger's biomechanical works led me to love the whole idea of anatomy being represented by 
mechanical shapes. And not just human anatomy, but animal and insect as well. That fosters endless combinations. I like the fact that I give scrap the ability to be regarded as art. Ultimately, I derive a lot of satisfaction from the creative process, and I'm quite flattered when someone else notices the attention to detail. My work spares the planet its weight in the immense energy required in the recycling process. My hope for the future is to use all of these mediums, clay sculpture, life casting, metal fabrication, and airbrushing to create more diverse sinister creations.